Saints, we must ask ourselves who or what is the foundation of our salvation. Who or what has been built on that foundation and what is the condition of our spiritual house today? If we are allowing some man or woman to build their doctrine on our foundation, we're in trouble. If we or some religious entity is the author of our salvation, we're in trouble. If we are the one in control of our lives, we're in trouble. If finances are our foundational security, we're in trouble. If we are depending on politicians and our vote and our own efforts for our future and safety, we're in trouble. If we do not know that God is the one that holds our future in his hands and that he is our only hope and protector, we're in trouble. If we are self-sufficient, we are not God-sufficient. If we are independent, we are not God-dependent. Except the Lord has built our spiritual house, we labour in vain by our good works. Except his spirit dwell in us, we are none of his, for it is written. Except the Lord build the house, they labour in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. It was the spiritual leaders of Israel, the false prophets and teachers, that led the people of God astray. The same thing is happening to the children of God today as they follow after religious leaders, false prophets and teachers. It is written, because, even because, they have seduced my people, saying peace, and there was no peace. And one built up a wall, and lo, others daubed it with untempered mortar. Untempered mortar is the wrong mix, not a pure, correct, sound mix that will hold the stones securely in place. We are not to be unequally yoked together with unbelievers, nor with those who teach a false gospel, nor an unsound doctrine, it is written. And her prophets have daubed them with untempered mortar, seeing vanity and divining lies unto them, saying, Thus saith the Lord God, when the Lord hath not spoken. Saints, if the mortar that holds together an earthly stone wall is untempered, that wall is not going to hold together. When the floods and the earthquakes come, or when it is overcome by weights too heavy for it to bear, it will crumble and fall. It so saddens my heart when I see those who rush to follow after men and women and not after Christ. There is a wolf for every liking, both male and female, seeking disciples today. It is written, Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. While it can be good to listen to preachers and teachers and be edified by the saints and grow thereby, we must follow none but Christ. Over the years, I have witnessed people refuse to see and hear the truth about false prophets and teachers, and I have watched them blindly follow wolves and even stand in defense of them, using the excuse of do my prophets no harm, or saying we should not try to cause disunity in the body. Saints, we should stand in defense of only one, and that is Jesus Christ. And we need to stand in defense of only one written truth, and that is the Scriptures. So, Saint of God, what have you been building on that foundation? Gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or stubble? What you have built on your foundation shall be tried by fire, for it is written, According to the grace of God which is given unto me as a wise master builder, 
I have laid the foundation, and another buildeth thereon, but let every man take heed how he buildeth thereon. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Is Christ building on your foundation, or are you allowing some pastor, prophet, priest, or teacher to build their doctrine on your foundation? Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. There is not time to allow our temples to be defiled by the doctrine of false teachers or prophets, nor time to follow after mere men or women, for soon our Lord shall return, and we shall all give account, for it is written, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. If you are not able to sense and be fully aware of God's divine direction, provision, and protection in your life, you're in trouble. If you cannot hear what his spirit is saying to his body, the true church in this hour, you are lost.